ticket, but congressional elections, again, we were used to serve. Uh, thank you, my friend. We'll talk to you very soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Representative Alan Grayson here on the Jeff Santos Show. So we go some 3,000 miles from uh, central Florida all the way to the 206 in uh, Seattle, WA, where we find the executive director of Democracy Watch News, a regular contributor to the Jeff Santos Show. Our good friend MTC Mark Taylor Canfield joins us via video from Seattle with the guitar in hand. Mark, happy Friday, sir. How are you? I don't want to listen at the top of the pops. I don't want to own no chic Rodeo drive shops. All I want to do is rock and roll with my baby tonight. With my Here you baby go. Tonight. I don't want to be your next president. I don't need to notice how the money is spent. I don't want to work for the FBI chasing some foreign spy. <laughs> I don't want to look at the top of the pops. I don't want to own no chic rodeo drive shops. All I want to do is rock and roll with my baby tonight. With my baby tonight. All I want to do oh, is yeah. rock and roll with my baby tonight. Woohoo! Way to go, MTC. Thank you, man. Hey, that's my new that song. Look for it out intro. there. <laughs> yes, we got to look for it. Look for my for new it. song out there uh, soon. Check out. Mark Taylor Canfield on YouTube, right? YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, iTunes. I'm everywhere go. now. You can't escape me. <laughs> <laughs> Just try. Can't escape you, man. <laughs> Just check it out. Hey, you know, it couldn't be perfect timing, even though it is a tragic story to talk about. You know, you have been so devout. Uh, in fact, no other reporter that I talk to on a regular basis, we talk to some of the best ones nationwide, have really focused on uh, the issue of protection of journalists. Uh, reporters Without Borders that you as uh, you have informed me about over the years. And I know you've been talking to a lot of folks through the UN and others this week, but this journalist being kidnapped by Putin's uh, henchmen uh, and listening to uh, another person who was recently kidnapped by Putin. Um, Mark, your thoughts on this, my friend. Um, do you sense that there is um, going to be some more outrage coming here because I don't hear much. Of course, the Trump issue trumps everything, excuse the pun. Well, I mean, I'm so sleep deprived. I think I'm still in Central European time or something because I've been participating <laughs> in a bunch of international conferences. Estonia. One, one at The Hague in uh, the Netherlands. I don't even know what country I'm in anymore. Uh, but it's it's been amazing, you know, to be able to reach out to an international audience on some of these issues having to do with press freedom because this week, was the summit for democracy. And there's a lot of controversy around that. In fact, tomorrow I have an April Fool's uh, article coming out, which I, I don't want to spoil too much, but it's at the Seattle Star. So you can go to the seattlestar.net. And it's all about mm -hmm. the United States being banned from the summit for democracy because of DeSantis and the state legislature saying that Winnie the Pooh is too woke and banning all their books. Of course, tomorrow is April Fool's Day. So you know where that's coming from. But this is a serious subject and I'm very concerned about it. Uh, the Committee to Protect Journalists, which is the organization that I go to every time on issues like this, because this is their job is to protect people like me. Uh, they're demanding that the uh, Russians release um, Evan Gershowitz right now. And they're saying that all charges must be dropped against him and that they must allow the media to work freely. That's from the Committee to Protect Journalists. So you can go to cpj.org to check out what they're saying about it. And then you also have uh, a quote from um, one of his colleagues at The Guardian saying, Evan is a thoroughly professional journalist who has been arrested by the FSB on obviously bogus espionage charges. Journalism is not a crime. Evan should be released immediately. So it looks to me like the, oh, and by the way, there are as of last count when CPJ did their last count of uh, how many journalists were in jail in Russia, they had 19 and that was as of 2022. Um, so another thing that people should know is that Russia is, is ranked 155th on the World Press Freedom Index by Reporters Without Borders, my other favorite group in the world on these kind of issues. And I, luckily I was able to do a shout out to them because USAID asked people like me to make little, little videos about why democracy is so important this week. And these are two of the groups that I mentioned as doing some excellent work around the world 
on the, the issue of freedom of the press and protecting journalists. And uh, Reporters Without Borders ranks uh, Russia 155th out of 180 nations. So, wow. I mean, let's <laughs> be honest when it comes to freedom of the press. Um, and, um, you know, presumably some other uh, countries, maybe uh, uh, Hungary and, uh, you know, Turkey and a few other places, I presume. But yeah, and, um, and America is not great either. No, we're number 42nd in the world. And that's an issue that I have been trying to lobby uh, members of Congress and every major media in the United States to report on, and they and re they refuse to do it. Now, luckily, Pramila Jayapal is having me do some briefings for her and her staff on this issue in the next week or so. And people like Jamie Raskin tried to push forward a, a national shield law to protect journalists from being prosecuted for uh, refusing to reveal their sources. But the rest of the United States Congress doesn't seem to know that the World Press Freedom De Index even exists. So there's yeah. a, a big learning curve cool. here that we have to overcome in the United States as well. So I want to kudos to your program for being one of the only ones in the country that will even talk about these issues. So thank you, Jeff. You rock. <laughs> Glad well, you're thank here. you, man, for, for always bringing it up because you've been uh, you've been a victim of it. I mean, I know the intimidation uh, of police and uh, when covering, whether it's the WTO crisis or or back in 2000, what you guys went through and. Uh, you know, again, anytime that you cover a police uh, uh, situation, police brutality, you got to deal with all of that. And, you know, uh, this is something very important. We need to keep on top of it. And, and you know, my colleagues in the in the media, and particularly in the progressive media, should so focus on this. Um, you know, it, to me, it's just really, really a, a sad state of affairs that America is number 42. You know, this is this is the, you know, uh, the land of the It'll free home of the brave. Worse. But, yeah. Yeah, um, May 3rd if it wasn't people like World you Press and others. Freedom Day. Yeah, World Press, Press Freedom Day is designated by the United Nations as May 3rd, and Reporters Without Borders is going to come out with their new 2023 rankings. And you can bet we'll probably have slipped a little bit more considering what's going on over there at Fox. You know, so, <laughs> That's I mean, another. <laughs> press freedom when they're Talk lying to you? propaganda. Yeah, exactly. Right wing yeah, it, propaganda it, it, it's, all the way. Yeah, it, it's, you know, I mean, if, if it didn't come from, uh, you know, the mouth of Goebbels, I guess it's not considered that, but pretty much is uh, something similar. Uh, Mark Taylor Canfield, we look forward to um, two next about that in a couple of minutes with our good friend Harvey K. Make, but uh, we look forward to having a longer segment with you, my with you again check out youtube spotify uh, for all the great music that our man who is a renaissance man of the jeff santo show you can find his work there thanks man have a great weekend you too jeff love you guys take care you too man peace Back. harvey and a formal announcement of the jeff santo show after this time out